And a very good morning to you. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Saturday morning. It's the 3rd of September, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. And we go straight to the Old Testament, to the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, and I'm reading from verse 9. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. Don't allow foolish pride to stop you from asking for help. We need each other. If we look at Genesis, the first book in the Bible, chapter 2 and verse 18, and the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. We need to be helping one another. It's God's way. He ordained it. You and I need each other. I need you and hopefully you need me. Even Jesus needs us to stand with him in these last days which are so dark and in many cases so evil. We need each other as followers of Jesus Christ. Can you believe it that even Jesus himself needs us to stand with him in these last days? Matthew chapter 26 and verse 40, when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane on the night of his arrest, he said, Then he came to his disciples and he found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? He was so disappointed because the disciples did not stand with him when he really needed them. We need to be accountable for our own safety's sake. No man is an island. You know, at Shalom Ministries, we have trustees and I have to be accountable to them for the finances, for every single penny. And they look after us. And it's very touching, I want to tell you. Sometimes I've got one particular trustee. We have four all together. And when he comes to visit us, he says, I'm not here on ministry business. I'm here on personal business, Angus. I want to know how is your wife? How are your children? How are your grandchildren? Is there anything we can do to make your work easier? It touches me and brings me to tears. You know, when Jesus sent out the disciples, he didn't send them out one by one. No, he sent them out two by two because he knew the importance and the danger when doing God's work. If Jesus did it for his disciples, how much more us? Let's look after one another. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.